Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Many many moons ago in the mid 80s I spontaneously channeled during a meditation session with a friend that opened places and possibilities. After the spontaneous channeling the first thing I was actually worried about was becoming a channel like Ramtha or Seth walking around yelling at people while channeling a soul entity. I did not want to be a puppet channel but a conscious channel for the highest good and light. I lost consciousness during the very first channel it scared the holy moly out of me. A doorway between here and there had opened and I had stepped through willingly in some kind of soul contract. Little did I know that life would never ever be the same. The person that received the spontaneous channeling during the meditation never talked to me again and to this day I do not have a clue what was said. When you're neither here nor there it's kind of like looking through edgy optics you can see both sides of the fence from standing at any position of light. Back in the 80s star beings, light beings, masters of light and angels were literally standing in line wanting to be channeled, wanting to be heard, wanting to allow their message to gain life force on planet earth. At that point of energy and all the shifts Earth was about to go through every person wanted to be a channel and most also wanted to be a walk-in and they opened up doorways to every kind of energy possible, a lot of these beautiful people ended up in places of mental healing as they lost complete touch with this reality. As a channel I set a lot of boundaries for the light beings I work with. I asked that they prove themselves, that they came from the God light, the Christ light, or the Holy light. I asked them to prove they were not deceivers. It took some time but all the energy finally floated to the surface like a sweet whipped cosmic cream. The first energies I channeled were literally the Christ family in all of its levels of light, karma, and written and secret considerations. One by one those that channeled the rest of the holy family came out of the woodwork so to speak showing their true talents, their writings, their scripts and doctrines and their scrolls of truth. They opened themselves to exposure and were seen in the true light of what was truth and proven on many levels. Most of these powerful people are no longer on earth but they are some of the most beautiful dedicated light workers I have ever met and I am honored to have known them. Since then I have worked every day become the constant conscious channel I seek to be with no boundaries knowing that all information in the universe is accessible through the heart.